Hi guys, Brazen Raiden here, and um, today I'm looking at another little freeware uh, title called Knit and Knit Stories. Now, let me just get the description here. Uh, Knit is a little game developed by Nifless Games and was released in 2006. It's a little platform jobby, and the basic story is that the Knit was abducted by an alien, and traveling through space on the UFO, we hit a meteor and crash on a nearby planet. Luckily, the Nitten alien survived, but the UFO is a wreck. We must somehow find a way home. So, let's jump in. Uh, you see slot 1 is green. I've already actually recorded an episode of this, but... Oh, beautiful Camtasia. It removed all the audio, all the music. So, I'm starting over here. Let me get this mouse cursor out the way. And let us have better luck this time, I hope knit. So there he is, cute little bugger. Whoop. Oh no, we've been abducted. Disastrous. Ah, oh, how peaceful. Ooh, rocks. Uh oh, watch out. Oh, oh no, we're going down. Whoop. Okay. Ah, oh, ah, oh, there we are. There's little Nit. There's our little alien and our wrecked spacecraft. Now, uh, let's see if I remember this correctly. S is to do jumps. A points us in a direction of a component. Here we've got the list at the top of uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 various bits and pieces from our space uh, spacecraft here, which uh, has scattered itself across the landscape. And we are tasked with collecting everything to rebuild our spaceship. And uh, yes, this beam here will show us the way. So, um, let's, go, let's go looking. Jumping. It's quite nice how you can climb walls like that. And these here are little save points. Hitting down, we knock a save. But yes, it is a cute little game. Um, the music, I thoroughly enjoy. It's good fun. And uh, I like the little animations. And the sound of his feet. Oh, cute. Okay, um, whoa, there's, there's ways to jump backwards, it's, it's a bit harder than, than it looks, but, uh, once you get the hang of it, especially since I'm playing on a little netbook, a rubbish little device, um, the keypad is so bloody close together, it, it makes things quite difficult, oh, up we go, into the clouds. Okay, there's something right in front of us, and here we are, a bunch of little cloud people. Hello. They they almost look like characters from um, who's well, what's his name? Uh, Doctor Zeus, Doctor Zeus characters. Aha. We have picked up a wing piece. Now, something I've I've noticed is that uh, from the last play um, this is exactly the same map. I did think initially that this was uh, randomly generated but no. But let's go down into caves below. See what we have. So yes, there's a, it is quite a large world that you play through with all these things scattered all over the place. save that no oh, gosh darn it dead end nothing that way you don't have items that you can use to blow up walls or or dig or any of that sort of thing what you see is what you get you just have to deal with it so we're heading off in that direction there's something over there for us oh hello 
So runny ice cube man. Thankfully most of the mobs in here are friendly. They will not uh, hurt you. There are a couple which you should stay away from. Nothing there, damn it. How do we get to that? It says it's in this direction. It's like below us. But we're supposed to go down here maybe? No. Because we've been down there. And uh, that ended in a dead end. So maybe we have to take walk around. Hello, red ice cube. Yep, dead end. Nothing there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's go let let's maybe there's another entrance into this cave. Now hang on a sec, how are we gonna get up there? We need to find our way out. Ooh, I need to check the time. Um, I like to keep these to about uh, half an hour long or so. Here we are, back on the surface. Let's go along. There'll be more bits and pieces strewn across this part. We could go down here, I guess, check it out. No, dead end. And maybe down here? Okay. This is a new little cave system. But that goes that direction. No matter. Anyway, it's a fun little game. Um, very cute. And, um... Oh, hang on. hi guys. You guys roasting up uh, some sausages here in Lava Pit. I wonder if we'll be able to get across. Whoop. Uh, up, up we go. And jump. Oh, so close. Okay. Can't go anywhere there. Let's go up. So yes, this is part of a series that I'm doing. Uh, single, single episodes of various little freeway games which may have gone unnoticed. And uh, I think some of them are worth a worth a look. So this is the the, the whole point: is to sort of bring these these little gems to your attention. Whoa! Okay, we've grabbed another component. Looks like an engine block. Now, I haven't walked into one of these, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to be nice to walk into. Um, thankfully, this place is littered with save points, such as that. And, um... Ooh, how am I going to get back up? Ooh. Yeah, it's best to save everywhere. Yes, I do, I do appreciate if you drop a comment and maybe leave a suggestion of a game you'd like to see me play maybe a little freeway game you found and and would like people to to know about it ah what are these two they look pretty angry with each other giving each other the finger there what's up mate I'm just shouting at each other okay well we, we, oh we just that was us dying in the water but we can't get across there but I have come this way before, so I know how to get there, uh, but it is a bit, a bit tricky, there we go, now, let's actually go up, there's something apparently up here for us, ooh, fishy, I haven't seen him before, and yeah, it's a, it's a windy ass day here in uh, Namibia, a nice Saturday morning, I've done a few other episodes earlier, but um, but yeah, I'm using Camtasia for this, and uh, it is not the best program I've ever used for this uh, full recording. These little little freeware games don't really work so well with Fraps, which is a bit of a pain. That's sort of my my program of choice when it comes to recording. Oh, another little village. 
Gosh, a bit windy out here. It's, it's like here. Um, way under the bridge. Yeah, I've. Gosh, yeah, Camtasia giving me nightmares. But it seems to get the job done. What I had done before, I had recorded this, and then I chose to save the file as an AVI, um, which to me is the main sort of f format that you'd use. Oh! Hello! Fishing! Let's see what's along here. She gets to swim, why can't I swim? Um, but yeah, it, it removed all the audio. Yay! So I had to start over. With that. We're going further and further away from that. That is our nearest object. But we've got clouds. Maybe this will take us there. Yep. Anyway. The Knit. He should really have a name. Calling him The Knit. Ah! Oh, we've got a, a component, some sort of hooky thing. Who? Oh, get it. Yeah, calling him The Knit is a bit... I don't know. Everyone deserves a name. What should we call him? I've got a name in my mind, but uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to use it. Thingy Hubert. Mr. Cumberdale. Thumbs up if you recognize that re uh, reference. If not, shame on you. Oh, hello, chaps. What are you? Ooh, he's chasing me. Stay away! I like the, the little graphics. Graphical animations. But, uh, but pausing now. Coming back in three, two, one. Yeah. Anyway, um, I lost my train of thought there. I just uh, asked to assist someone with recharging their phone. So off we go. 
No, let's go up. Ooh, there's some sort of tower thing here. I wonder what's upstairs. Oh. Mm. Nope. And jump. Backwards. There we go. Oh. Clouds. Back in the cloud heaven. No, I'm not going to be able to make that jump. Oh, oh gosh. Wow, what a leap of faith. We can go higher, maybe. No, I can't get up there. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Um, that's fine. That's fine. This, I think this arrow is pointing us to that... Um, object we couldn't find before. We'll go along to the left here. The, the world is quite large, to say the least. Actually, we haven't been down this way. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, it just runs us straight through the mountain. Okay, off we go. Oh, we've reached the end of the world, and there's a little Eskimo. Hello? What what you doing? Looking for some whales to go hunting? Okay, well, nothing this way. Knit. Yes. Never had knits. Uh, not that I ever want to. But they're pretty small little creatures. Um, so it makes you wonder, this world that we're on... What would it be? Maybe like a a mouldy slice of bread? I mean, that would be gigantic to this little guy. And as for the other things living here, um, not nits, what would they be? Some sort of maybe bacterias or little bugs, some ticks and fleas, I don't know. Who knows? Let's get out of here. I can't find... I don't know how to get to this... this thing that they're pointing us towards let's let's go let's go right we've, we've come to the end of the world on the left hand side here wasn't too far from our spaceship so let's go walkies this way because we still have a heck of a lot of things to go get let's keep our our tower there takes us into the clouds go climb mountains instead mr. Hubert We're getting up high. Lava pit. Whoa! Shall we go running along the clouds? There's nothing below us. Still that way is nearest. We need to go along further. I don't know how this spaceship sort of uh, shattered into so many pieces that were thrown so far apart. Oh, we still need to go. This is a bit annoying, actually. That we traveled so far, but the closest item is still back here. We have to find it, surely. Off we go. Let's, let's go down. Maybe we can run across. Ooh, spiders. Dead end. Fantastic. I don't know if those guys are friendly, but I hate spiders. Let's get out of here. Even, what would you, 8 bit? 8 bit spiders? They're still spiders. Hmm. Will this cut us through the mountain? No. Oh. Fail. We've been here before. It would be nice if we had a map to give us a sort of idea of the landscape and where things are. Should we go down? No. Oh, hello. What's this? Secrets. 
How exciting. I don't know there were secret passageways, and how the hell was I supposed to know that was even there? Maybe. Maybe. That's how we find the next item. It's somehow traversed down a secret passageway. And uh, it's gotten itself lost. So now we're down in the mines. The mines of Moria. See, this, this led us to a dead end. So... Maybe it's not actually a dead end. Maybe there's secrets, passageways somewhere. Oh, hello. Okay, we're progressing somewhere unknown. Do you think we can go up? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, hello, Mr. Blob. Do you think he's friendly? I don't want to take the chance. You never know. You never know. More blobbies. Oh! Well, there you have it. Your answer. They are not friendly. Stay away Oop, from the blobs. Push wrong button there. Down we go. Hup. Ooh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, yeah. A computer. Sweet. Four items out of the eleven. We need to go back. Can we go down here? Yes, we can. Do you think we should stick in the caves? Let's stick in the caves. There was a, a passage to the right, which we never took. Very dark down here, though. And this ambient music is great. It's not overpowering like some of these uh, little games are. With these midi tracks which just sort of blow your mind. Okay. On the way to adventure. Hmm. Okay. This looks familiar. Yes, I've learned a lesson. Don't just jump into holes. So I have to go this way. Because there could be lava or water or something that will kill you waiting for you at the bottom. Save. Okay, we can't go any further. Whee! This next item must be miles away. Because we did travel a long way to the right here and uh, came up empty handed. Shall we? Let's continue straight along. Little wormy on a carpet. Looks like a carpet, doesn't it? Could be a carpet. A moldy carpet. Along we go. So yes, very simple little game. Um, cute. Now... Ooh, is this where the two are fighting? Oh, huh? uh, yes, here we are. Hello, guys. Sorry there's no bridge for you to get across and actually do some damage to each other. They're like little llamas. Right, I think this is, this is promising. Oh. Up we go. further along, deeper into our cave system here. So yes, why am I playing these little games, you may ask? Yes, I do want to sort of bring these little gems to to light, but ooh, do I want to go down here? I don't know. Um, as I did mention, I've also got uh, a rubbish little netbook that I'm busy playing off because I've just moved Oh, isn't this nice? Look at that. Aww. And uh, I have not yet b purchased a decent machine. That will come at some point. Whoop! Oh! Disaster. We fell into the milk. 
Let's try that again. And jump. Oh, fail. So it is a bit tricky getting the um, keys pressed in the right order. You push left before the S, before jump. Damn it. And uh, he just sort of falls off. And you push jump without pushing the left in the right, uh, at, the, at the right time, and you just sort of jump down. Okay, S, left. Oh, we're there. And that is one of the reasons why you don't just drop yourself down holes. You never know what's below you. Okay, we can't get across that way. We're gonna have to go up. <gasps> Ooh, hello, little Mr. Milkman. I think quite a lot of work has gone into this little game. <gasps> that is quite peaceful. I like this. Bit of a re re reprieve from the sort of uh, fast paced, stressful games that I usually play. And I'm enjoying this. I think I will. I will endeavour to finish it at some point, but I, don't, I won't put you through all that. Hello, Cog. Sweet. Now, we need to be able to jump out of here. Here we go. And keep going. Can't go that way. Go up. We can't get we can't get through this bridge. It's we're stuck below the bridge. We have to somehow find a way to get above the bridge. Let's let's do a quick save. I'm glad there's a lot of these save points. No, not that way. Ha! Ha! Here we go. It's not all that challenging. It's it's a good little rump. And uh, and yeah, I do recommend you give it a go. If anything, knit. K Y T T. Oh no, it did end. It's disastrous. Go all the way back. This is where a map would come in useful. If you could see where you could and could not go. Oh, we're in the desert. There's a little lava pit. Going down. Okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. Ooh, this is sort of the badlands. I don't know. It's all dark and gloomy. Dead trees. Wow. Oh. I like the music. Uh, oh, hello. What the hell are you? You look like a miserable walking penis. No offense. Can I go in your house? No. I'm sure there's nothing much in there. You look like a bit of a learner. Hello, lovely. Romeo, Romeo, send me your lightsaber. Okay, how are we gonna get to her? I think she needs saving. Mr. Penis, you should be there. But here you are, all alone. Ooh, creepy. Oh no, what is that? Oh, look at that. Huh. Uh. Oh, it's evil. Oh, I hate it. Oh, nasty. Ah, what is this contraption? It looks like a... Uh, oh, these look like rails below us, and this looks like some sort of movable tank thing. I don't know how I'm supposed to move it, though, because I don't have any key uh, or option to sort of grab things. But uh, let's see. Okay, it's, it's going to be above us. So we probably have to get up there. 
somehow. Maybe we have to come in from behind and, and, and give it a good shoving. Everything likes a good shoving once in a while. Oh, oh, fail, dead end. They really lead you on, sort of like the, the queues in Disney World. You think you're there, and then you turn a corner and realize, actually, no. you still got about five hours to wait for your trip to Space Mountain. Very clever, though. Very psychological um, arrangement of, uh, of the queue hiding the, the rest of it from view. Let's save that. Somehow we need to get underneath and up in the corner there. Oh! Run! Oh, my poor nerves. So pretty. Oh, lovely. But there's nowhere to go over here. Dead end. Ah, maybe down here. I think once we get this next item, I'll, I'll call that. Now. Oh, oh, oh! This is going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky. Oh yes. Now I think if I jump, I'm going to smack myself into that. Oh, nerves. Okay. Oh yeah, making progress. Oh, sweet. How this component thingy got over here, I just don't know. And do you think that's it? Looks like a transistor. Oh yeah, we got a transistor. Well, um, I hope this has given you a good introduction into Knit. Just a fun little game, very cute. Cute little animations and sounds. I love these feet pit pattering on the floor and when he climbs walls. I recommend you give it a go. Uh, it doesn't look like it should take too long. I mean, I've already got... What's that? Six out of the eleven items. So I should be able to complete this in probably the next half an hour, forty minutes, which I think I'll do. But I'm going to leave it there now uh, with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, please do comment, like, su subscribe, uh, the, all the rest of it. It helps. Um, it, it it shows me that you're enjoying what you what you see and um, motivates me to make more. Uh, if you have any ideas of other games you'd like me to to play. Please do drop uh, their name in the comments, and I'll check them out. But until next time, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.